Hey there, my wedding planning friends, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thanks so much for clicking on my video. I'm Emily Summer. I'm a wedding planner based in Montana, and I make weekly videos on wedding planning tips and advice. So today's video is a bit of a continuation on last week's video, which was all about the importance of your wedding DJ. So if you are contemplating a DJ at all, pause this video, click on that one, watch that one, and then come back to this one. So today we're going to talk all about a wedding DJ versus a wedding band. If you're trying to determine between the two, what some kind of pros and cons of each are and how to effectively have a wedding band at your wedding. So in my previous video, I talked a lot about the pros of a wedding DJ, which we'll touch on again in this video, just in a little bit of uh, less detail. I'm going to go ahead and start with the details of having a live band at your wedding. I'm a huge proponent of, of live music and having a live band at your wedding. I think it's a really fun way to add a little bit of personality and some entertainment for your guests, but there are a lot of things to consider if you are thinking about having a live band at your wedding. So some of the pros of having a live band, like I mentioned, is a great way to have entertainment for your guests. So whether they are dancers or not, they can still kind of sit back and enjoy the atmosphere of having a live band and live music and not actually partake in the dancing and still enjoy themselves. This also creates a really fun atmosphere in general for your guests and for your overall wedding vibe and atmosphere at your reception. There's something that just kind of elevates that experience a little bit more when you have live music versus a DJ at your wedding. A lot of times this results in a more packed dance floor. This is also especially dependent on the type of music that you have and the type of band that you have. If you are a crowd that likes to do like partner dancing and that kind of a thing, a live band is typically pretty beneficial for this. If your crowd is not super into that and your crowd is a group that thrives on more like hip hop or the best way I can describe it is like high school dance music, uh, DJ is probably going to be the way to go for you. So that's something to keep into consideration is what your your guest group is like, what you as a couple like to dance to, what you, the type of music you like, because when you have a band, again, depending on the band, you are a little bit more kind of pigeonholed into a particular type of music and maybe a particular particular genre or you know whatever that band is capable of performing and playing at your wedding so you're not going to get the the wide array of music that you can get when you have a dj who's going to play likely different genres different types of music from start to finish throughout your wedding day based on both what you as a couple want to hear and and the kind of vibe and environment you want to create for your wedding and also reading the dance floor and being able to play music that um, a is requested by your guests and b that is just doing well on the dance floor things that are going to get your guests back out of the dance floor djs are going to know be able to take note of what's doing well what your crowd is really enjoying and what gets the most people on the dance floor at one point which this is something that you just don't really get with a live band. Um, so just the overall point of customization is something that a DJ is going to be able to provide you a lot more than a band will. So that's something to keep in mind. The biggest factor when it comes to having a live band, in my opinion, is the lack of an MC or somebody that is going to be able to make the uh, official announcements at your wedding. This is a huge role that a DJ plays. It's being kind of the overall MC of your wedding and being the person that facilitates all of the events at your wedding and makes the announcements to let guests know what is coming up and getting guests into different areas of the wedding, like if they need to get to the ceremony or from the ceremony to the reception site and all those types of things, which most bands will not provide this service. So a lot of times they will make announcements like your first dance and maybe father-daughter dance and quick little like introductory announcements into what's coming up and what um, dance is happening but you're not going to get the same type of MC service like you would from a DJ. And this is really crucial when it comes to important announcements like um, shuttle times, transportation times, uh, relaying important information to guests, like if you have to release buffet tables for during dinner, that's something that a DJ is gonna do where a band is likely not going to be able to. And on that similar note, um, likely your band will need to eat food at some point. And so a lot of times this will happen when all of your guests are eating food and so that they can have take a break and be eating at the same time the guests are, um, but you need to have a backup plan for music during this time. So whether that is having a PA system set up, maybe your venue provides that, maybe that's something that you have to rent. So that's something to keep in mind is to fill in those gaps. Um, on a similar note, 
in addition to when they eat, uh, most bands will take set breaks. So they will likely have a set list already prepared for your wedding day. And there's likely going to be uh, scheduled times as like a little intermission throughout your reception where they will need to take a set break. And typically this is only about 15 or 20 minutes or so. So the band can take a break, drink some water and just take a little bit of a break from the music. So again, this is something to keep in mind that if you do go with a live band, you want to have some sort of plan for what's going to happen during those set breaks. Another thing to note when it comes to live music is live bands tend to be a little bit more uh, pricey than a DJ. Not always, but in a lot of cases, you're probably going to pay more for a live band than you will for a DJ because there are likely more members that are going to be there, more equipment to bring, um, you know, musical instruments to set up and sound equipment to set up and all of that kind of stuff. So keep that in mind if that is going to be a key factor in your deciding factors is, is cost. A lot of times a live band will cost more. Like I said, having live music at your wedding is going to create a little bit more of a uniqueness to your overall wedding environment, your wedding reception. And something that I always recommend, if it is feasible, to me, kind of the best of both worlds or, or in, a, in a perfect world, um, having both and kind of being able to tag team both live music and a DJ, if you're wanting to have live music, is the best route to go. Again, if that is feasible. But that is something that I've had couples do and you have a couple of options here where you could just have them tag team the entire event. So maybe you have the DJ perform the ceremony, the live band performs during the cocktail hour and into the reception and the DJ is there to make the announcements and to fill in those gaps when they take set breaks or um, make those announcements or during dinner or whenever the band is not going to be performing live music, the DJ will be there to fill in. I've also had couples have a live band just for the first hour or two of their reception so that guests can get that experience of having live music for kind of the beginning part of the reception, get their dancing in, and then have a DJ come in and kind of finish out the night. That way you get both the live music experience and, and that kind of same genre of whatever band you choose, but then you also have the DJ come in that's able to have a little bit more of a variety, be able to read the room a little bit better, and be able to take requests from your guests so that they can um, dance through into those late night hours. Not to mention, be there to make those important announcements, especially when it comes to the end of the night, getting people onto the shuttles and um, announcing last call and all those important things that come at the end of the evening. Like I said, having live music and a live band at your wedding is a super fun way to add a little bit more personality into your wedding and create a little bit more of a unique experience for your guests. However, there are a little bit more factors to consider when it comes to hiring a live band for your wedding. So just make sure you take these factors into consideration when you are debating between the two or trying to make a plan for your music for your wedding reception. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe to get weekly videos on wedding planning tips and advice, and we'll see you next week.